What's up guys, it's Jack here with the Hobby Layer, and today we have an exclusive Target mystery box. I've seen these on social media a bunch now. Uh, they have five random booster packs. The ones I've seen on Facebook, on Instagram, have had uh, three collector boosters and two set boosters or draft boosters. Um, so pretty excited for this. It's a lot of good value. I think this is like 25 bucks or 27 bucks on the Target website. I've not seen these in person at all whatsoever. Uh, and then show you what's on the bottom of the box here and then the top. And then just to uh, show you the real quick. Yeah, this thing is absolutely massive. This is for five random booster packs. I thought this was gonna be a quarter of the size, maybe not even that. Um, so just to compare this to a, uh, a bundle box, like this is as thick as a bundle box, way taller than a bundle box. Um, slightly less wide though, but it's an absolutely massive box for just five booster packs. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of the scale of this thing. It's like, it's, it's bigger than a bundle. We're gonna open this and uh, yeah, we'll see what's, uh, what's inside. Oh, that's cool. So inside we have slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots for the five booster packs and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I guess we open it from the slots here. Let's see how this works. All right, this is uh, kind of fun to open, not gonna lie. One by one, let's check out the booster packs. Ooh, there is a little bit of damage as you can see there, but we have a new Capenna collector booster. Another new Capenna collector booster. A Brothers War Jumpstart Booster, a Dungeons and Dragons Baldur's Gate Booster there, another Brothers War Jumpstart Booster. Okay, so it's two Collector Boosters, two Jumpstarts, and one Draft Booster. Let's check out these guys. So we have a Viper's Fang promo, and then we also have a Forgotten Archangel, and then a set of dice. Very cool. It's kind of like, ah, oh, these are. So this is the Crown Zenith dice from Pokemon. Interesting, so they just randomly tossed you Pokemon ETB dice. That's gotta be the funniest part of this. But yeah, check out this packaging. It's, uh, it's a lot of packaging, a lot of plastic, a lot of paper for not a lot of product. Just five booster packs, very weird. All right, so I guess, wow, these are some Thick, thick packs. Look at these in comparison to the collector boosters. These are 20 card packs. Oof. All right, I'm going to grab a uh, Brothers War Jumpstart Booster and we'll start there. It's my first time opening a Jumpstart Booster. This is the Power Stones Booster for Brothers War. Thopter. Yeah, cool set. Uh, open up a good bit of this set, but never the... Jumpstart boosters. Usually it's always been the collector boosters, which are a lot of fun. There's a rare for the pack, Geology Enthusiast. Hey, we got a Earthless Battle Adopter. Okay, so this is probably one of the better play boosters that you can get. Bunches of land here. A couple of lands are holographic. Urza's Battle Adopter. It's one of the better cards to pull. All right. Uh, our second one is a pure green pack called Titanic. Uh, let me separate these so that I don't get them all mixed up here. Yeah, the Battle Adopter is usually a staple in pretty much every Eldrazi deck because they're all colorless. Uh, although that might be changing. Woodcaller Alto Maton. Very cool. And a Fade from History. Nice. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments and then we also have two foil forces in the back but yeah with the new modern horizons 3 eldrazi that's coming out don't know how how colorless eldrazi are going to stay all right so this one is a Baldur's gate draft booster there's a, a ton of cars in this so let's take a look what we got here man it must have been fun to draft these extremely large packs back in the day uh, I wish I was around to draft this set. One of the cooler sets. Ooh, Treasure Keeper. All right, we're getting to our uncommons here. 
we have a bunch ooh, 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 skip too many uh intellect devour is our first rare and then we have a shadow heart and a construct token so that's it for the draft boosters and the jumpstart boosters and now we have the collector boosters Yeah, I'm a big fan of these Nuka Penna ones. Ooh, fish. That's the first time I've seen one of those. Big fan of these Nuka Penna ones. They're very, ooh, they're very curled up. So I guess because there's so much foil in here, it gets curled up very easily. But uh, there's a lot of triomes or a couple of triomes that I'm still trying to pull here. Ooh, a beautiful four island. Very nice. Hey, tramway station. All right. Riveter's Charm. This is a, a beautifully textured card. Park Heights Pegasus. Crash the Party. Each tap creature you control. Yeah, very cool. Sanguine Spy is our rare. And then we have an Obscura Ascendancy. Hey, Jetmere's Garden. All right. Okay, great. So this is one of the, the Triomes that it's talking about you get all three in one and it has the designation mountain forest and plane so they're searchable and they have cycling nice this is one of the best cars to pull in the set all right so our second pack we have a citizen and an ogre warrior yeah so i'm a big fan of this product for two collector packs and three random draft boosters uh, I think this was right around $27. You're definitely getting your money's worth there, even from just the collector boosters. Ooh, beautiful planes there. Uh, and then get a Skybridge Tower. Oh, yeah, so okay, every one of them has one of these cool textured foils. Big fan of those. Hey, hey, hey. we have a Raffin's Tower. Okay, so another one of these triomes. So we've hit two for two on the triomes here absolutely crazy all right workshop xanders we've hit another triome oh wow and then this is okay so this one isn't textured but we've also hit xander's lounge so this is an island swamp mountain all right so we didn't pull any crazy mythics out of this set sadly but uh we've pulled some of the rarest or the most expensive cards which are the three triomes here we have Jetmere's garden in this hollow foil treatment raffin in this hollow foil and then this like full art xander's lounge so the three of these cards are probably worth you know 50 bucks or so like almost twice as much as this mystery box super worth it in this case would i pick up more of this 100 percent, i would have i been able to find any more of this i have not yeah i just got lucky one time on a target restock and managed to pick one of these up uh, i wasn't sure what i was gonna get either so i didn't want to go in uh too hard with these but if i ever see these up again I'm definitely going to pick up some more. Uh, hope you guys can get your hands on this. But yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll bring you more awesome openings in the future. All right, see you guys next time.